is Jackie with Pocket of Preschool, and I am so excited you're here because my preschool graduation is tonight, and I want to give you guys all my tips and tricks and kind of show you how I have it set up. So you guys know my preschool is in my home. I'm a state licensed preschool classroom. Um, before this, I taught in Rockwood for 12 years, and we actually didn't do a preschool graduation. So um, I think it's just really important, and the kiddos love it. It's kind of a milestone. And yeah, so, oh, one thing really quick though. Um, I have a multi-age classroom. So I have three, four, and five-year-olds. So some of my kiddos come back next year, but they still wear the cap and gown because they're graduating to becoming the big kids in the class because I make it a big deal that next year they're gonna get to teach the little kids, the, our new friends, what to do. Um, so everyone graduates in my class, even if they're coming back to me next year, that way, it's just the best, right? Because then they're excited to come back and they they know that they're gonna be the models and they're gonna get to teach their new friends. So again, here we go. So I wanna show you all the things and how I have it set up. I'm gonna flip it around. So this is the back of my classroom. So I have all the chairs back here. So I literally put shelves against the wall, um, my blocks and pretend center. I literally just moved all the furniture over here and it was kind of ugly. So I took my letter, um, these we did like back in January maybe, um, or February something, and we had them hung up on the wall. And I just um, covered them, um, it just kind of covered the ugliness. So that way if parents have pictures in the back, um, it's no big deal. Or like if that's the background, it'll be still cute and there'll be a cute little backdrop. But yeah, all the furniture you guys can see is pushed to the side and that way it too nobody gets in it and nobody plays now here is the pretty part so this is kind of where the kiddos will sit and I only have eight kiddos in my class um so I just have the eight little chairs those are our regular classroom chairs from Walmart and then the backdrop last year we had this is um typically my pretend center so last year um we had a campsite mural and I just kept that up and it was gorgeous as a backdrop and we didn't have one this year like a pretty backdrop. So um, I just covered the wall with white butcher paper, as you can see, I just kind of stapled it on. And then Monday, they painted the flowers. And then today, um, they went back and they painted all of the stems and the leaves. And then we just finished up our insect study. So last week they made these beautiful butterflies. So I thought that would be cute to kind of add to the top since it was blank. Um, so yeah, so this is where the kiddos will sit. They'll just kind of sit right there. And then here are some charts we did to kind of talk about and reflect on our year. So we did this one, what we learned about, um, now we can. And then we also did one, um, when I grow up, I want to be. Um, so that way too, parents, you know, it's just a pretty backdrop and it also shows them all the things that we did and the parents and the kiddos can kind of remember at the graduation ceremony, all the fun stuff. So we do songs and if you can see right here, I have my CD player because I'm old school and I have two CDs and then I'm gonna use my ALEXA, I don't want her to turn on, um, for a couple other ones. I'm gonna so I actually let my kiddos pick what songs to do for graduation because I want them to love the songs and sing, right? Cause you don't want them to get up there and be like not singing or not moving or anything. And I have a shy class this year. Um, so fingers crossed nobody cries tonight. Um, or no, you know, like nobody's scarred <laughs> cause it's kind of scary. And if, and if I also want to put this out there too, if any of the kiddos that are graduating or any of my kiddos that are graduating to be the big kids next year, if they don't want to sit up there, they absolutely do not have to. They can totally sit in the audience on their parents' laps and it's totally fine. No big deal, they can come up for pictures at the end. Um, Cause we had that happen last year. Um, my kiddo didn't want to sit up there and he doesn't have to. Um, I'm not scarring anyone um, or making them upset. If they don't want to sit up there, they absolutely don't have to. Um, so the songs we're doing, we're doing, they decided on Baby Shark. Um, Bubble Gum by Dr. Jean and um, Bringing Home a Baby Bumblebee. They love that one from Dr. Jean. And then we're also just going to do the alphabet song. Um, it's um, on Alexa. So, um, yeah, so we'll do those four songs. 
Um, and my kids, um, some of my kiddos, I get they're shy, so we don't have a lot of movement songs this year. We have been practicing them for about two weeks. So during music and movement time, we will, everybody would stand on a line in our circle area, stand in a line, and we would go through all four songs. And then we would do, you know, a couple other music and movement things. But that way they can practice standing in front, and bowing and curtsying at the end. So it was super cute. So they know what to expect too, right? Um, so yeah. So I also um, do, I will give them a graduation or moving up. Because they're going to move up and they'll be the big kid next year. Diplomas. So I will, let me show you what those look like. And these are in my TBT source, so that link is at the top if you want to grab these, and they are editable. So these are the preschool diplomas and the moving up diplomas. Um, I will just say their name, and then I usually say um, like what center they like, or I tell them something about them, like CJ loves blocks, and he is an amazing builder. And I give him his diploma, mom and dad take the pictures, and we're good to go. Um... I do have, oh, I'm sure everybody's going to ask. I do have two tables over here. That way if kiddos want to eat cupcakes here, um, they can't. And I'll tell you about the food in just a minute. Um, and then I, here's our graduation hats. And here are our robes. So you guys know I love rainbows. So I had to do rainbow robes. And we decided, um, they just kind of decided their colors. Um, and then I have their tassels hanging up. Um, and I don't have my amazing Miss Jenny, um, got another, another job, so she's not with me anymore. So I'm going to let the moms help me put on all the graduation outfits. Um, and that way too, maybe it'll kind of ease them into, um, the graduation. Again, some of my kids are super shy, so, um, I just have them kind of hooked on their cubby. And these are happy graduate robes and they, they're not the silky kind, um, but I will put the link to these where I got them afterwards. They're, they're really nice. I really love them. And then um, I, these are the tassels I had last year. And I just took the 2018 off. So that way I don't have to buy new tassels every year. And then so they have the, the robes. And I have them in small and medium. And then their hats. And I know some of the kids are not going to wear the hats. And that is okay. And here let me give you kind of a backup view. So we have the tables if they want to eat the cupcakes there later. And then where there's all the parents and families sit. And then this is kind of where the kiddos are. And then all the, my furniture is behind those dotted boards. And then over here, we have some snacks for afterwards. These are their cups that the kiddos drink out of every day. I have a lot of water drinkers this year. So I just kept their cups out if they want water. And then I just went to Sam's and I have little waters. Um, some Kool-Aid jammers. I bought a box of like bagged pretzels and then I got um, just 60 cupcakes from Sam's and I have a friend who's allergic so to um, milk so her cupcakes are back there with her name on them and then I have plates and napkins. So yeah, so that is kind of what we're doing and then I know um, I know some people do end of the year gifts at sorry I'm making you guys dizzy at graduation and these little tags are free beyond my blog so you can either use them for graduation or end of the year but these are all free on my blog so if you go to the top of this post you um can grab these so i have um you really blew me away this year this year was buckets of fun you're sharp dig into a good book you shine so bright and have a sweet summer so if you wanted to you could give them their diploma and a gift but I just do, I do the end of the year gifts on the last day of school, and then um, I just do the diplomas tonight. So that's kind of it, and I'll kind of tell you um, how it kind of goes. So all the parents are going to get here at 6, and, or all the families are going to get here at 6. Once everybody's here, I'll have the moms help me put on the robes. And then I'm just, last year, I had kiddos freak out when they walked up the aisle. And like I said, I have shy kiddos, so we're probably not gonna walk up the aisle. I have one, but we're probably not gonna walk up the aisle just to, so I don't freak any kids out. Um, so they'll probably just kind of walk over and sit in their chairs once all the families are here. Um, I don't do a program or anything because it's super relaxed and easy going. Um, so the first thing I'll do is kind of tell the mom and tell the families, here's kind of the agenda for tonight and then we get started. So what happens is we do our songs first and then I give out the certificates. So hopefully they're a little warmed up um, by the time I give out the certificates. And then 
we do a, um, a group photo or group photos. Let all the moms and dads take all the pictures and grandmas and grandpas take all the pictures of the whole class. And then um, I let all the families go outside. That way they can take fam um, family pictures with mom and dad and grandma and grandpa, or aunt and uncle, whoever, um, in their little caps and gowns. And then once they are done with pictures, they give me back their cap and gown <laughs> or just hang it back up on the hook. And then they can eat their snack <laughs> because I don't want red icing on the yellow and the green and all of that. So yeah, so it's super simple. It's, they are, graduations are a lot of work, but they are so worth it and I'm sure I will cry later. So yeah, cause it's, it's hard once you have, when you have kiddos for a whole year and you see them grow and it's amazing and then they leave you <laughs> and it's, you know, I'm getting a little teary right now. But um, yeah, so that's, those are all of my um, tips and tricks. I hope this helps. You guys have a great night and I will talk to you soon. Bye.